All right, guys, so we are going to do a work sprint. Um, so I would recommend that you try these problems on your own. And then the answers are really small, but they're on the slide in red. And then if you're not getting the right answer, then go back and watch the video. So this is the video giving you the solutions that you only need to watch if you needed, you know, weren't getting the correct answers. So here we go. So our first reaction is um, ethanol. We do mix ethanol in with our um, gasoline and burn it. Um, and uh, supposedly, well, it's a cleaner burning fuel. Um, and this is the reaction that it undergoes. So it is a combustion reaction, which we know always reacts with oxygen. We form carbon dioxide and water. Um, and then let's do the stoichiometry part of this. So we're starting with 16.7 grams of ethanol. I always start with my beginning number on the far left over one. So I'm really starting, oops, I'm starting here. Sorry, I almost got tricked myself with my own trick. Um, but my unit is in kilogram. So in order to enter the mole map or the mole calculation, I have to be in grams. I always love to do this to you and make you have to do something extra, right? It's super fun. Um, but kilograms are more likely the unit that you would use if you were measuring um, out a liquid like this, especially um, like jet fuel and things they measure in kilograms sometimes. But um, anyways, so we would convert it to gram and then we would want to, we're going to go to mole. Um, so this would be our A. And then we're going to figure out, what are we being asked? The water. So the water would be our B. So once I convert it um, to grams, now I can go and use the molar mass to convert to moles. And I calculated it beforehand, just to have it. So 46.08 grams of ethanol in one mole of ethanol. So my next step is the stoichiometry part where I'm going to do my mole-mole ratio. So I'm going to use the one here and the three. So I'm going to put the one mole of ethanol on the bottom because I'm trying to get rid of those and the three moles of water up on top. So now my grams go, my moles go, and now I'm in moles of water. So I'm over here now in B. And in this question, they want me to go to grams. So I have one more step. And I'm going to use 18.02. There's that many grams of water in a mole of water. So then my moles go, and I'm in grams of water. And then when I crunch all that and I do the zigzag technique, although you don't need to because you only have one thing in the bottom, but I go multiply, divide, multiply, divide, multiply, divide, multiply, divide, enter. And we get with three sig figs, 19,600 grams of water. Here's another problem. Um, we're talking about um, carbon dioxide. That's my B because they're asking me about it. And 3.9 moles of ethanol again. So here's my, um, my A. So I'm going to start out with 3.9 moles of ethanol. And I'm going to convert it over right away. So I'm right here. And I'm going to convert over to moles of CO2. So I'm going to use the 2 and the 1. So 1 mole of ethanol down here. 2 moles of carbon dioxide there. So I'm in moles of CO2 right here. And they want me to go to molecules. So I get to use Avogadro. I've been missing Avogadro. Haven't used him lately. So 6.022, 10 to the 23rd molecules of CO2 in one mole of CO2. So when I calculate this with 
two sig figs, I'm going to get 4.7 times 10 to the 24 molecules of carbon dioxide. Here's another problem. Um, let me move my picture because I'm kind of in the way. Um, so this one, um, we've got ammonia reacting with oxygen, forming nitrogen monoxide and water. So in this question, they want to know the moles of water. So that tells me that's my B. And I'm starting with 17 grams of, of ammonia. So that is my A. So I'm going to start here at grams of ammonia, NH3. I'm going to go to moles. Then I'm going to convert over and do the stoic to moles of water. And then I'm done this time. So I'm going to go and start over here. So 17 grams of NH3 over 1. Now I'm going to convert to mole. I did calculate the molar mass earlier. So 17.04 grams of NH3 in one mole of NH3. Now I'm going to do the stoic, which is when I use those coefficients. Um, I'm going to want to put the moles of NH3 on the bottom so that it'll cancel over here. I'm going to put moles of water on the top because that's what I'm trying to get to. So I have six moles of water, four moles of NH3, and then once I calculate this with sig figs, I should get 1.5 moles of water. And you can see that um, dimensionally it works. The grams go, the moles go, and I end up with moles of water. And I wanted moles of water. So one more problem. Um, this is glucose, uh, production of glucose. That shouldn't be there. So water and carbon dioxide react, form glucose plus oxygen. This is what um, plants do. Um, and then we do the reverse, respiration, where we take the glucose, we breathe oxygen, and then we produce carbon dioxide in water. Um, so in this question, we're starting with three moles of water. So that's my A. And then I want to know how many grams of glucose. That's my B. So I'm going to go from moles of water to moles of glucose. And then I'm going to go to grams of glucose. So right away I'm going to do my mole mole. You don't have to do these boxes. I just like to because it really shows me that I'm using those coefficients from the balanced equation. So my moles of water on the bottom, so it cancels, and then my moles of glucose. So I've got a 1 and a 6. And you can see I'm in moles of glucose, so I'm right here. And now I'm going to go out to grams. Uh, the molar mass is 180.18 grams of glucose in a mole of glucose. And then you can see those cancel. I end up with grams. And when I calculate this with sig figs, I hope I get 90.09 grams of water.